Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to write and archive custom metrics using Amazon CloudWatch with PowerShell. So to get started, let's have a look at some of the existing metrics that we can look at. So we're going to look at the metric list available for EC2 instances using get CW metric list. So you'll see there we have various metrics that are there by default and that we can query within CloudWatch. But you might come across a situation where you need to create a custom metric. To do this is fairly straightforward. So first, we need some data that we're going to query. In this case, I'm going to use the World News subreddit and the number of active users on that group at the moment. So we're going to use invoke rest method to retrieve that data. Then we're going to pass that into an object called a metric datum. We need to pass into that a timestamp, a metric name, which I've used our world news, and then we're going to have a count. So essentially the number of users. So if we look at the value at the moment, there's 14,199 users on that subreddit. So to write this data in, we use a command called write CW metric data. The first option is namespace. So this is an umbrella for a collection of metrics. So we're going to add our users under a namespace called active users. So these are the most two important parameters. Our other parameters are for our profile name and the region that we're working in. So by executing this commandlet, we're going to write one data point to CloudWatch. So if we go over to the console and there you'll see custom namespaces, then active users. And then you'll see our metric name, which is world news. If we have a look up on the graph, you'll see the data point that we've just written to CloudWatch, and you'll see some previous data points that I've written. So you can go into your metrics and you can change the time interval that you want to look at them. And you can actually view by hovering over the graph, your individual data points that you've sent in to CloudWatch. So next we're going to look archiving data. So metric data is stored in CloudWatch for a finite period of time. So before metrics age out of CloudWatch, metric data points move through a tiered system where they're aggregated and stored as less granular metric data. So what does that mean? Well, for example, metrics gathered on a per minute period are aggregated and stored as five minute metrics when they reach an age of 15 days. So the longest period you can store metrics in CloudWatch is for 15 months. So the further that goes on, that process up to the 15 months when they're removed, the less granular your data will be. So to retrieve our data, you can use a commandlet get dash CW metric statistic. So we are going to query our namespace active users. We query extended statistics. That value can range from zero to 100 and we pass in our metric name. We have to pass in a start at time and an end time. What I've done here is looking for the last three hours worth of data and a time period of 60. So if we run that and you'll see the results. So let's have a look and count how many data points we've got in those results. So we've got eight data points. So we can actually inspect the data. So what I'm going to do is have a look at the last data point that we wrote. And there you'll see this value under extended is 14199. So that data you can then output to a storage system or archive system of your preference. Thank you for watching this video.